everybody, because it's the internet, most of you would rather spend your time watching a land whale lecture you on third wave feminism, I've created One Minute DCS. This time we're covering F5E radar operation. Set the radar switch to standby, wait 3 to 5 minutes for warm up, and then switch to operate. Now let's examine our knobs. Giggity. The range knob can be set between 5, 10, 20, and 40 miles. The radar provides a top down view with your aircraft just off the very bottom of the screen at the center of the radar. The numbers across the bottom represent the azimuth, or angular direction, of the target. The numbers down the side, when combined with the cursor on the right, represent the angular elevation of the antenna. The two horizontal bars in the center represent the center of the antenna. To calculate target range, remember that each horizontal bar represents one-fifth of the distance shown on the left. Only targets within a 10-mile radius can be locked by the TDC cursor. The radar elevation knob controls the elevation of your antenna. Scale controls grid visibility. Pitch controls the center horizon of your antenna. Cursor controls twin horizontal bar brightness. Video controls lock-on sensitivity. Pair controls image latency and bright adjusts the backlight. When you lock a target by pressing the dogfight missile forward switch, the target is compressed to a B-sweep on the left while the main screen enters chase or boresight mode. Fire when tone changes. Remember that your radar is gyroscopically centered so it always stays aligned with the horizon. To sum up, turning on your radar is like setting up a profile on the dating app Grinder. If you can see them, they can more than likely see you, and they may have something long, hard, and explosive they want to put up your arse. On that pleasant note, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to dislike or tell me to go fuck myself below.